Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you quickly how to do this really pretty texture stitch. Look at that for texture. Now the thumbnail doesn't do this justice at all but look at that beautiful texture. It is a three row repeat but it's a really quick three row repeat. Now I want to thank everyone who's been buying me a cup of coffee on my coffee page. I'll leave a link under the video and you can pop over there. I've got some pictures uploaded and things as well and you can follow me for free on the coffee. You can be a little follower. So I'm going to show you today how to do this really pretty texture stitch. It's like a super track stitch. It's like a little bit like the train track, but completely different at the same time. But it leaves this beautiful track pattern. It's completely reversible as well. It's a really quick, fast stitch to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So the yarn I've used for this is this yarn here. It's called Panda. Now it says that it's an eight ply. But to me, it's like a double knitting. This is the yarn, but you can use any yarn for this at all. Any yarn you want and just use the hook size it tells you on the label. So for this pattern, there is no stitch count. Do as many stitches as you want your little blanket to be. So I'm going to do a chain. You can use any yarn for this. So any number of stitches. So do any number of stitches for this pattern. So into the second stitch in your chain at count one and two, we're going to do one row of UK double crochets. So pull your stitch, your yarn through, yarn over and pull through. Put one into each stitch all the way along your chain. So I've done my first row of double crochet. You're going to chain one and turn. And right into that very first stitch, we're going to do one more row of double crochets. So yarn over, pull through yarn over and pull through those two loops and we're going to do one into every stitch all the way along so now what you're going to do is you're going to chain two one two now I'm going to see if I can keep my plaster finger out the way <laughs> You might be wondering how I did this. I actually slipped on an icy step and my hand reached out to hit the wall. It didn't hit, it did hit the wall. I went to try and grab onto the handrail that I have and I hit the wall instead and it ripped my nail off right <laughs> a bit gory and my fingers are a bit swollen but it's not too bad. It's just a little bit cumbersome trying to do my crochet. So we've done a chain of two and we're going to use the top stitch and the bottom stitch of these two rows then we'll use a top stitch and the one underneath it here and you can see the little spaces of the stitches under there so first of all you're going to do a yarn over and you're going to do the top stitch the very first stitch here and pull through now yarn over and what you're going to do is you're going to go into the stitch underneath that into there Pull your yarn through and pull a loop up and you should have five loops. One, two, three, four and five. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. And it makes a really nice little twist here on your stitch. So yarn over and into the next stitch and pull your loop up. Now you're going on into the stitch underneath that row in that very first row that we did. So yarn over and you can see the stitch there just push through and pull up you've got five loops yarn over and pull through and you're going to do that all the way along the line now this is a really really easy stitch it's a pretty stitch as well so yarn over and into the next stitch and pull up 
and there's the stitch underneath you can see the hole so it opens up once you go into that top one so yarn over and in through the bottom and pull up yarn over and through those five loops yarn over into the next stitch pull a loop through yarn over and go into the stitch the space below under there right underneath that one so it's like you're working both rows at the same time yarn over and pull through yarn over and through the bottom stitch and pull up through the loops and you get this really pretty stitch like this so yarn over into the next stitch yarn over and in to the stitch below that one right in there pull your yarn up and through yarn over and through all the loops and you're going to do that all the way along now on your last stitch you're going to do a UK treble crochet so yarn over and into the last stitch and do a double crochet go chain one and turn now right in to the very first stitch we're going to do two rows of UK double crochets so one into each stitch and you're going to do two rows Oops. Now I did say this was a super easy stitch a stitch that you can do while you're watching the TV Now at the end you're going into your treble crochet and finish your stitch chain one and turn and do one more row of your double crochets one into each stitch this is done over three rows but they are quick rows this is so quick and so easy for beginners so I've done my two rows you're going to chain two one two and turn just chain two now again we're going into the top stitch and the bottom stitch so we're going to do the top row the bottom row the top row the bottom row of these two rows so yarn over and into the very first stitch pull through a loop yarn over and go into the one below and pull up your loop and pull through all five some more of my yarn out there so yarn over into the next stitch into the top and then yarn over and into the bottom stitch not these loopy stitches you're going into the one that's right here right here underneath that stitch pull your loop up remember and do your yarn over pull through your five loops yarn over into the top of the next stitch yarn over and in to the bottom stitch there top and bottom pull through yarn over into the top yarn over and into the stitch below so it's a top and a bottom and pull through your five loops yarn over remember the yarn over so into the next stitch yarn over and into the space underneath you can see the stitch space underneath that one and pull up and pull through all the way along and that's the three rows you'll repeat but these three rows are quick because of the two rows of the double crochet now when you get to your last stitch you're going to put a treble crochet into the last stitch of that row there chain one and turn and then you'll do your two rows again of your double crochets so right into that first 
stitch have we chained one chain one and turn and we're going to do our two rows of a double crochet so when you get to the end of the row you chain two one two and begin the pattern again you'll begin the pattern again the same as we have here and this is what it looks like in a variegated yarn I will say that it stands out a lot better with a single coloured a solid colour of yarn so again we're going to use the stitch up here on the top and the stitch down here on the bottom in the row below right not the ones where these loops are it's right underneath there and there so that row and that row there that you've just done so yarn over and into the first stitch the very first stitch you pull through yarn over and into the one underneath and pull up and pull through remember your yarn over pull through yarn over and into the stitch right underneath that one and pull up and pull through your five loops yarn over into the next stitch and that's what you'll continue to do and look how quick and easy this is once you've got this it is so easy and it makes beautiful blankets in any colour at all and even though you don't see the pattern too great on this speckle yarn it's still really pretty and it's very textured as well look at the back of that it's beautiful so this is what it looks like once you've got a few rows done it's really quick and really simple now you'll finish on one row of double crochets now the one thing I want to say that I don't think I said earlier when you do that two chain and turn it's not a stitch you'll still go right into your very first one to do that little puff that we did in this and it keeps your edge nice and straight like this once again the yarn for this I've been using is just this crafty spotty yarn you can use any yarn at all for this any yarn that you like I'll get my larger piece back that I've been working on this is a really quick tutorial a really quick pretty pretty pattern and the thumbnail doesn't do it justice so thank you so much to everyone who's been donating on my coffee page I'll leave a link underneath the video and thanks so much to everyone who buys me a cup of coffee on there thank you so so much it's completely free to subscribe to any YouTube channel you just click on the subscribe button follow the very simple steps and then if you click on the bell icon YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial so until the next time happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon goodbye